They won game one, 145-128. Wasn't even really that close. Cabin Kelly off the glass. Dude, eight block shots in game one. And right there, Shaq Harrison, he gets to, compared to a comfortable shot, makes it much more difficult. Trevor and Queen, but there he is. Cabin Kelly, offensive putback. Tim Robbins' character, Andy, was put in the hole for playing music, and he said, there's a piece inside. Oh! Forget the story, Captain <laughs> Jelly's rocking the house. And winning a championship to booster himself into that Golden State spot. Cabin Gelly, he's immediately doubled. He's going to go to the turn away. It doesn't matter. They're G League affiliate. It is great, especially when you consider the fact that you're playing for a championship. And when you think about it, and you ask guys to come in and be a part of your organization. You want them all to have a winning mentality. And so his family getting to see him play, a lot of his family members for the first time. Not sure if he's pressing a little bit. Kevin Gelly gets it to go, push the foul. Good crowd. I mean, they're ready to get into this one, but the Vipers haven't given them any chance. Kevin Gelly, a man on a mission. Who's going to stop him? Dacia Nix running the offense for the Vipers. They won game one in this three-game series. Our top Kevin! Oops, upside your head. Get your hands high, you never know. Someone may throw the basketball, you get a deflection. Harrison, dump off to Tom White. Rejected by Kevin Kelly. That's what the Blue Coats are going to have to look back at. If they're unable to come away with this win, that's going to be it as Kevin Kelly lines up and knocks down the three at the top of the key. The Vipers to get points without the clock moving on that one. Here's a steal by Aaron Henry going against Trevor and Queen one on one. Kevin Kelly with the block. Under seven minutes right here in this fourth quarter. What's going to happen next? Well, I, I think right now this game will just try to be Kevin out. Kelly up top and finish. Get to the finish line. Foster getting minutes in critical time. Kevin Kelly two hand flush. Next, crossing over, gets to his left, and the Vipers are on the board. He was a 2010 state champ, all-state wide receiver. Always nice when you can see guys play multiple sports, and it definitely carrying it over here onto the hardwood. She told us before the game that one of the big moments was when Jaden Springer went out. He said when he went out, a lot of the guys felt deflated. Next gets his own board and puts it back in. So he felt like they didn't respond to the adversity well in game one. Crowd is still making their way into the arena. There was a traffic jam coming in earlier. Hey, off the mark. Queen trying to keep it alive. Saves it to Knicks, and he'll lay it in. He's a big guard, too. He's and a real not big guard. He plays bully ball. Brownridge, too strong for three. Queen on the end. Look who's the outlet. Dacia Knicks. Woo nice find from Queen. And more importantly, staying away from picking up a foul. It's going to be important for him to stay on the floor, especially with Mane with the five foul. Knicks fights through the contact. He said, you're not going to give me a foul. It don't matter. He stays in the game as the technical has been reversed to a flagrant. Slips on the floor. Turnover. Knicks out and head. Showtime. Zach Harrison getting after it. This is what they want to do. They want to try to find a way to speed up the bike. Knicks cuffs it. Oh, he goes reverse. I'll tell you one guy's temper I have been impressed with. Dacia Nix. He was getting a little frustrated in that first quarter. No calls. He adjusted his game. And there he is in the paint. Just calmly 